The Alchemist, Hello. Rob Acosta. What's up? <laughs> What's good, Rob? I'm chilling, man. How are you? I'm chilling. Nice hat. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. What's going on in the gym? Uh, Is it emptied out on you? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I'm like, you know, come in here and work with my guys in the morning and then uh, take care of some family situations at home around 12, around this time to like 5, and I pick up my young boy Nelson, amateur, and then get to work. Okay. You watched the fights this weekend? Yeah, I did. I did. I enjoyed it very much. Yo, best card I've seen in a while. Yeah. Shouts out to Al, man. No, seriously, I think that was the best card since one of the Wilder cards. What was it? Wilder... Was it Wilder Fury? It was one of those, I think it was one of the Wilder Fury cards that the whole card was fire. Yeah. Was it, it was the second drone. Where they had a Jaguar versus Frank Sanchez. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Kayla versus Benavidez. Mm -hmm. What did you say? So, I know that, uh, I know that I said I got Kayla. I got to be careful how I say this. I know I said I got Caleb and I was wrong. So I'm going to say mm. that. I'll leave it alone. But um, Caleb, it's upsetting because I can't quite figure out why he gassed out so soon. He gassed out fast and he was doing a lot of unnecessary movements. Um, I think what he should have did more for keys of victory is work the inside more and then kept turning, kept using his angles. Stay on the shoulder and the other shoulder. Stay both sides. Benavidez in the inside, he's not a good inside fighter. He just got that uppercut. He, uh, uh, according to like the physical body and the length of the arms, he can't really deliver devastating hard blows from a close quarter shot with long arms like that but he can develop enough momentum from bottom going up. So if all he got is that uppercut in the inside, if he stay on each side of the shoulder, he could have took it away. So I would have worked the inside more and then kept him from turning, just keep turning, because Benavidez got some slow ass feet. Mm. And you know, I think he should have did that. Now, as far as Benavidez is concerned, uh, he did what he had to do. He said he was going to beat Plant down. And that's what he did. Uh, Plant did well for the first five rounds. Then after that, Benavidez took over. But I don't care who say what, Benavidez will get smoked by Canelo. Smoke. That would be so bad. Really? I think it's Some smoke. people feel like Benavidez is smoke. That people feel like uh, Cal uh, Canelo is ducking Benavidez. Mm -hmm. Right? You saying stoppage, that type I of think, joke? I think, he'll, I think he'll stop him, yeah. But... I think at this point, Canelo, what Canelo was doing, which is kind of on some sucker shit too, is like he watched his recent performances and because he looks so well, he looks so good, I'm going to try to avoid him. He wait for the real bad performance or something where that, that kind of like that kink in the armor is now showed. Now it's like, oh, yeah, now I want that fight. You know what isn't, I mean? Isn't that what the... What some of the greats do? Your yeah, Ray Leonard's, your yeah, Floyd's. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they what they're supposed to do, but that's what I'm saying, it's boxing. But Benavidez got some slow ass feet. Um, he brings a lot of good pressure. And I think he didn't respect Caleb's power. Because once Caleb tried to like really sit down on punches, Benavidez was just like, like that's, that's it. And just kept coming. But I don't like how Benavidez couldn't keep him in the outside. He could have made that fight easier. And he could have actually went for the stoppage. However, in my opinion, I think that Kenny Bayless wasn't his greatest refereeing that night on both sides. You got a lot of guys that favor Kenny Bayless. Oh, you know, he should have deducted points for Caleb. He should have did this. But everything was for Caleb, Caleb, Caleb. Benavides was hitting in the back of the head. Mm. He was hitting in the back of the head. He was doing some illegal shit. But at the end of the day, it's a fucking fight. How Greg said, it's a fight. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, I thought it was a great, great card. I thought it was a good fight. I think Caleb will eventually bounce back. I just think he needs to go back to the drawing board a little bit, go back to the lab, and start adding new tricks and, and learn new things 
for occasions like this to work the inside. And not you can't outbox everybody, but you know you can be smart. You can use smart, uh, a, a bigger IQ, and just box smart. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, as far as Benavidez is concerned, um, I think that he does deserve to be in the top, top five, top guy. Like he is, he is who he, he say he is. He has a lot of great qualities. But I just think that he's a little overhyped. Okay. Who do you want to see if Benavidez doesn't get Canelo? Who do you want to see him in the ring with? Charlo, Andre, Morel? You know what? Boo Boo would be a nice option. Boo would be a nice option because Boo Boo looks like he makes it difficult for everybody. Mm. So I think that would be a nice option. Um... Charlo, I don't know too much on Charlo, but I'll tell you one thing that I think Benavidez will respect Charlo's power far more than what he did for playing, you know? Um, yeah, I think those are, those are good options. As far as Caleb, um, you know, it's, it's just, I'm glad that he's, he's good. He didn't suffer so many injuries. But, you know, take your, take your little family vacation, do what you got to do, go back to the drawing board and, you know, work your way back up. That's all.